Schönen guten Tag, meine Damen und Herren. Herzlich willkommen zu einem weiteren Video der Firma JP Performance GmbH. Ja, das ist das Königseck-Video äh, Nummer 3. Doch ich habe mir gedacht, wir müssen ein bisschen was vorab sagen, denn das ist ein, ein cooles Video gleich, auf jeden Fall. Das erste Video auch und das zweite Video auch. Aber wir mussten ähm, aus den letzten beiden Videos gut 30 Minuten Material rausschneiden. Und wir hatten halt vorher gefragt, was wir alles drehen durften. Und dann durften wir es nachher doch nicht zeigen. Deswegen nicht bitte verwundert sein, warum redet er da nicht drüber? Warum zeigen wir dies nicht und warum zeigen wir das nicht? Gedreht haben wir das. Auch mit der Einverständnis, dass wir das zeigen dürfen, aber jetzt im Nachhinein dürfen wir es doch nicht mehr zeigen. Ne? Nicht, dass ihr da irgendwie enttäuscht seid oder sowas, das wollte ich nur vorab sagen, weil ich weiß, da sind so viele andere geile Sachen, ne? die, die, die wir auch gesehen haben und auch gefilmt haben, aber leider sind die nicht drin. Ich wünsche euch trotzdem ganz, ganz viel Spaß. Die Videos sind jetzt leider etwas kürzer geworden, weil wenn 30 Minuten fehlen, könnt ihr euch vorstellen, könnt ihr euch wirklich vorstellen, wie viel geiles Zeug da drin war. Also, tschüss. Please welcome CEO and founder of Christian Koenigsegg. What's the weight on this? This is 92 kilos. So, I come got to a This is around 1300 horsepower. Manual. Manual. Rear wheel drive. Schönen guten Tag, meine Damen und Herren. Herzlich willkommen zu einem weiteren Video der Firma JP Performance GmbH. Es geht weiter mit dem beeindruckendsten Ort, wo wir bis jetzt gefilmt haben. Punkt. Das kann ich so sagen. Ein Mann, der voller Energie ist und mir auch zeigt, wo die Limits sind, der mir zeigt, was man mit viel Begeisterung und viel Engagement alles im Leben erreichen kann mhm. und wirklich etwas auf die Beine stellt, was ich nicht dachte, was geht. Okay. Und mir auch ganz klar, ich will mich nicht zu hoch setzen, oder so, aber mir auch zeigt, boah, man, also da ist so viel mehr zu erreichen, da ist so viel mehr zu achieven und wie, wie cool er das macht und wie nahbar er ist und, und toll er das tut, das ist echt sehr toll zu sehen. Ja. Und äh, ich bin sehr dankbar, hier zu sein. Und äh, jetzt schneiden wir einfach rein und es geht weiter mit diesen tollen Sachen, die dieser Mann erfunden hat oder miterfindet und auch auf die Beine stellt. Los geht's. Let's see. Here, here, oh, here you can see the, the clutches. So, oh. here is a gear. This is uh, probably the reverse gear. So then you have... One thing, I, 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 I catch up the people. Also, wie das Getriebe, was wir gesehen haben, den 91 Kilo, was so mm -hmm. leicht war, mit den sieben Kupplungen. So, there's always a little clutch in each gear each set. Each gear set, exactly. Instead of synchros or... And how many... There's a one, two, three, four... Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And uh, yeah, well, it has to transfer all the torque. Because it's so small, it has to be eight. Yes, in and diameter. You need, and you need 150 bar pressure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Start, these are test parts with temperature stuff on. But this starter motor, which goes inside, the hydraulic pump for high pressure. A, a, another one? Well, this is it. So yeah, you're not using it, the high we, pressure we, for the car? We, we are using it. Uh, but you multiply it. But no, sorry. Uh, I mean, the. Uh, It's 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 kind of a, a booster pump for so the I transmission thought, yeah, you, in you a sense. We add, on, I think I think the uh, synchro, sorry, the uh, so uh, what do you call it? The uh, um, EDIF is the with the electrics, but okay. this is this is for the clutches. This one. So how much? How, what kind of pressure temperature are we talking? Temperature? Yeah, in, in the, only in the pressure system. Uh, I mean, we we try to keep the gearbox under 130 degrees at all times. Degrees. Mm -hmm. 130 degrees Celsius. So these are the. Th this is right, actually. The, the main shaft going into the uh, the engine, combustion engine, so. Can I see it? Yeah, sure. And I guess this was driving, you take it apart to check yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, this is prototype. We've been do, running these for years, so. Test gearboxes. So when I see this all this engineering... This is the engineering. closest to a flywheel we have. We try to make it as little as possible. It's yeah, a starter ring. This is, yeah, this a starter ring. Yeah. Not, not for V8 like this? No, no. no. So when I see all this engineering, I, will, I would love to know, you would not tell me, but you are working on crazy stuff going on in the future, I guess. Of course. Because this is already there in the testing, in the making, so there must be completely different stuff going on. Mm. 
Uh, this is, uh, for example, the front uh, bevel gear for the Yumeira. So we have torque vectoring uh, clutches. There, there, there is no differential, it's just a bevel gear, pinion and crown wheel. And then you have these clutch packs going out, similar to that gearbox, so we can torque vector. It's amazing how the whole car industry and also how all the customers are used to the thinking of a Porsche, Audi, Mercedes, BMW. Right. If somebody comes along, with the financial potential to do this and just thinks of a solution right. and just makes it work. You see all these different ideas where you think, well, hmm, it's a totally way, different way of doing it. But Yeah, so this is the hydraulic control unit for the torque vectoring front differential. Mm -hmm. It's a test one. So Yeah, you can, you can do a lot if you put your mind to it. I'll show you something <laughs> in here. This is, uh, <laughs> those are some of our own controllers for the diamond. Here, here is our... Uh, one of our labs, e watch out, this high voltage in here, watch out. This is our David inverter, 800 volt inverter, six phase inverter. And this is uh, one of our first electrical motors, the Quark. So this, this, uh, this motor has uh, six, 500 newton meters, uh, sorry, 500 kilowatts. You and make it? Six, yeah, we make it here, 600 kilowatts of power. So and you have also the electro motors? Yes, and the inverters. The smallest, most powerful inverter in the car industry, and the smallest, most powerful e motor as well. We will see the inside, so I will show you what it looks like on the inside. And battery packs as well. I'll show you how From you know. Nokia handies, I guess, right? <laughs> so here we have a development engine dyno. One. Yeah, for, for development we have one. So you use air-to-air -air intercoolers? No, you use water intercoolers. Well, on this we do both, but here we have, like, actually these are air-to-air -air with water to avoid fans. So we weld this on and put water. Yeah, yeah. Put but you use the, the flow? Yeah, I mean... The, uh, the flow is the normal. same, yeah, but... The, the, yeah, exactly, just a different cooling medium on the outside to make it easier in here. Mm -hmm. That we can regulate the but this, temperature. this was running not long, too long yeah, ago. Yeah, we run it every day. Most. Most of the time. It's a pretty big exhaust housing. Yeah, it is. You don't want a lot of back pressure with... Uh, uh, I know, running these RPMs. And, and with, uh, uh, with pump gas. No, you don't want that. Look at the wastegate installation, it's pretty interesting. That's a 3D printed Inconel exhaust uh, manifold. Of course it is. Yeah. <laughs> and where is and it then it's, uh, That is done, yeah. It's designed here, it's printed elsewhere. Yeah. Here you have a completely different intake as well, as you can see. I saw the intake manifold itself is very, very thin and very small. How come? We don't need more. Yeah. It's simulated. And you don't want bigger volume than you need because you and create... You create Pulsation. Yeah, and you create lag. Mm -hmm. A big volume between the throttle and the valve creates lag of uh, air volume, so you don't want it bigger than you need. All of these controllers are made in-house. This is ECM. This is uh, uh, for body controllers. But I think we can make this whole video easier if you say what we don't do. I exactly. Okay, so I will be quiet instead. <laughs> exactly. So here you're trying to watch the um, yeah the oil area the dry sump exactly how it how it how it operates right? and different RPMs and temperatures and oil types. Exactly. Are you proud? <laughs> yes, <laughs> I am. When you started this company in '94, yeah, I mean I get this question also, but you thought of this? I just thought I wanted to build cars. So any 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 outcome was a possibility. This mm. was one of them, I think. So. <laughs> Look, this was the best case. Yeah. One of the better. <laughs> one of the better ones. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you just keep on going step by step, one yes. foot in front of the other, and things happen if you keep on working hard, I guess. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's so a step line as you saw there yeah. will be in here. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. And this is a bigger one. That's nice. So here we can do full power tests and du uh, durability testing and things like that. The, the, this, uh, this is quite interesting. I mean, this is uh, for, from a Yasco. Uh, look at the size of the bearing. Yeah, it's huge. So it's good for high speed because with a smaller bearing with downforce, you can get a lot of heat. Mm -hmm. Second, it's good for uh, uh, stability. You don't get any yeah, unwanted yeah. flex. So, oops, get out. And it's, of course, wow, very close. lightweight. Yeah. It's hollow in here. Can I see it? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. It's machined from solid. Mm -hmm. That hollow, as hollow as it can be. Uh, now, okay, there's no car in here. So we, we can walk inside. This is the control room. A dyno room, for yes. with the wheels on. 
four wheel, four wheel torque vectoring. It smells pretty nice in here. Yeah. Don't know what mm. they've been doing. Uh, it's kind of being <laughs> finalized. Uh, they probably cleaned something. But but we have been running here for a couple of weeks now, and uh, this, as far as we are aware, is the most extreme four wheel hub dyno, dyno in the world because we can do up to 3,000 horsepower continuous, up to 550 kilometers per hour. What you need. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So we have to Where do you see it. the limit for a human being in, in concerning controlling a car? Your, th your thoughts right now, 2023, because when we were in the, in the 80s, people with 300 HP cars, 400 HP cars, everybody thought they're completely crazy. So nowadays, yeah. when I'm driving a 1,500 HP car, I like it, but I'm not super impressed. Right. So what, where do you th see the limit of... You mean on power? Or on power, you, yeah. you, you, don't, you said 1,500. Uh, yeah, exactly. So it's very simple. I, mean, I guess you the same way, to be, speak yeah, open. Yeah. I, I would put it like this. Uh, power is not, of course, the only exciting thing about no. cars. Steering, brakes, feel, sound, emotion, looks, uh, ergonomics, uh, brand, whatever. There's so many other exciting uh, aspects, of course. But, but power is... You can, Some of them. Yeah, it's, it's, it's important and it can give you records and interesting competitive speeds and so on. I would put it like this. Power it, makes braking interesting. Exactly. <laughs> I would put it like this. If you have four-wheel drive and you have good tires and you have good chassis and good suspension and good down, downforce, if you cannot spin your tires, all four of them, up to 400, you can have more power. Right? Yeah, I mean, I'm down. Uh, uh, th that's it. More than that, you don't need. If you can always spin your tires, you don't need more power. That's it. Otherwise, you don't have as much as you could have. Maybe it is too heavy, maybe it's some other negatives, but just from a power perspective, that's the limit in my mind. Hmm. So what way you see the number then? In the, in the tire technology well, that you have at the moment? Well, I would put it like this, I think, uh, slightly over 3,000 horsepower maybe. Over three? A little bit over three. When you get up to speed and you have downforce, you probably need 3,500 horsepower to spin at 390 with four wheels. And then you do zero to 400 in about 12, 11 seconds, yeah, yeah. something like that. The question is, what, when does it not, when is it not fun anymore? It's like getting smacked in your head with a baseball bat or something. Right, and that's not fun. One second. Yeah. Whew. Yeah, high, th this is, uh, of course, a uh, high voltage uh, braking system. So we have coils on the roof and battery packs and things. And yeah, mm, of course. <laughs> <laughs> So in here we develop a free valve system, so here's a free valve hey. dyno. Hey. Maybe we can see in here, here we are running a single actuator uh, rigs for testing the actuator. Here is a sensor body to measure the position. We can measure the exact position of the valve 100,000 times per second with one tenth of a millimeter precision. Uh, we can see here, here is an actuator. And this engine is already in, in, in the customer hands? Uh, we are working with uh, other manufacturers uh, that are testing them in their engines. Oh, in their cars? In cars and in dynos and full-size uh, engines, okay, yes. Okay, okay. Not only for automotive, for other type of... I should close it? Propulsion, yeah, you can close it. So this is like Imagine, uh, let, let's say you have an, a multi-cylinder, let, let's say a straight six cylinder, you have a lot of valves. And let's say the valves are like the, the organ, like openers for an organ in the church you can play music with. So the camshaft is like you have an organ with keys, but you only have like what you clean the floor with a broomstick to do this. With free valve you throw it away and you can play whatever yeah. music you want. Uh, and, and which music is the best? Is it rock and roll? Is it classical music? Is it this tune? It depends, right? You can, you can tell your orchestra like four people have to go to the toilet, you can tell them, well, you can go now, we can still play on. For example. Exactly. You can still and play on and you leave. And, and you can... when they come back, it's a situation where the big part of, this, of the song comes on. Exactly. This song. Yeah, for example. You say, hey, four guys, please step into the course. <laughs> and then they go on. Right. And, and, and uh, now we have AI coming. And there is so many strange things we have seen in the dyno with this. That you, up, you open double, you open triple, and then you shoot back some exhaust gas into the intake. Wow. And then there's a turbulence there, and then it goes to that cylinder. A lot of AI. And it's like, for a human being, you, don't, not, you, not. you get confused. But if you put a lot of sensors in, and you let it randomly play, and then you tell uh, the AI, I'm looking for this advantage, less NOx, less fuel consumption. And then they will say, sir, here you go. But this kind of thinking is not possible. You don't have to think in that direction if you don't have the possibility right, exactly. to do that. So, so give, me, give, me, give me a second. Weird, yeah. Also, das ist so interessant, das muss ich immer auf Deutsch eben sagen. Sie sind in der Lage, das Ventil einzeln zu steuern. Und wenn du diese Technologie hast, kommst du in einen ganz anderen Denkprozess, wo du in der Lage bist, 
Sachen zu erforschen, die gar nicht möglich sind. Sie können zum Beispiel das Ventil schubweise auf und zugehen lassen, um eine Rückpulsierung in die Ansaugbrücke zu bekommen, was eine Turbulenz erzeugt und dann wieder auf einer anderen Seite, weil du hast ja eine Ansaugbrücke, mhm. und auf einer anderen Seite wieder einen Stoß zurückgibt, was dann für äh, Abgasnorm oder für schwächeres, äh, stärkeres Ansprechen für den Turbo oder dienen kann. Das bist du, du bist einfach nicht in der Lage, wenn du eine Nockenwelle hast, bist du technisch nicht in der Lage, das zu tun. Du bist immer gebunden an deine Reihenfolge. Die Nockenwelle geht in einem Kreis durch mhm. und wenn dieses Ventil sich nicht öffnen soll, dann, das geht nicht, Die, es wird sich öffnen. Was du machen kannst, Vario Cam von Porsche zum Beispiel, kann halt das Timing ein bisschen variieren, aber es wird sich immer noch öffnen. Mhm. Und da kannst du einfach wirklich sagen, aus. You're still fourth. Even with, I mean, there are very nice variable camshafts now. So Absolutely. You can vary like this, you can have some lifters. The Porsche, the Porsche system is very great. But you're still dependent on the knock. No, no, and, exactly. and the chain. For example, yeah. wenn, wenn, du jetzt, wenn das jetzt dein Motor ist, als Länge, ja, dann hast du 1, 2, 3, 4 Zylinder. Mm -hmm. Dann hast du ja die, die, die Räder drauf und den Kettenkasten. Mm -hmm. das ist, yeah, the, exactly. the, you're losing 15% yeah, of the size thing. of the engine. Yeah, this, this goes off. Und das heißt, du brauchst ja auch, wenn du einen Motor mal in der Werkstatt mit einem, mit einem Drehmomentschlüssel drehst oder mit einer Knarre drehst, ja. diesen Widerstand, den du hast, den, das ist ja die Kette mit den Nockenwellen, weil die Ventil fehlen. You got valve springs somewhere? Uh, it's air spring. No, normal valve springs. Because yeah, yeah. You, I, I try to explain to the people yeah. how much energy it takes to turn the engine around because you have to pressure all these springs all the time. Mm -hmm. With this one? Nothing. So if you have this uh, on an on an emergency mode and all valves are open, you can turn the engine like this. Exactly. So this is also in combination. So this is why they ref, I guess, them pretty nicely because you can make them run like there is no valve. Yeah, we can we can rev up to highest right now 10,000. That's our limit. But then we are getting limited in timing because normally we have open like a square camshaft. But the higher RPM you go, you mm. need to come together because there is no time. Dann that's it. Ja. Yeah. So, I'll show you here finally the Aber ich bin jetzt mitgekommen auf jeden Fall. Ja, ne? Ja, ja. Perfekt. Here is a, um, a rig to run a, a three cylinder head. Uh, we're running all the valves here, so you're feeding with air and then you're feeding with oil here. So you call it free free valve because that's your free. name. Yes, valves are free. They can do whatever you want with them. It's actually still pretty high. Uh, yeah, this this you can make them lower. We have all the controls up here. You can put that on the side if you want. And why are you running this so big? Thing? And you could you could make this. We had in this case we had space and it was simple to do it. But you can you don't need to make this round. You can flatten it. We we have a design where this is down to here yeah. for another customer. So, but you're right. You're, it's a little bit high. And also a big thing what we don't talk about is uh, temperature. Right. Temperature in the valves itself. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, you're above the water jacket up here. That's what, what I'm saying. Yeah. Because you can control the temperature from the valve pretty high. And also in emergency cases, you can save a valve if you have so many sensors. Right. Because otherwise, sometimes you don't lose all valves at the same time. You lose one cylinder. Right. And one pair of valves that burns down. Right. right. And if you have the right sensors, then you can just tell them, well, we got a problem on the six. Shut that down. Shut let them cool, let them cool down. Yeah. Absolutely, it, it, the freedom is almost endless, free valve. <laughs> But yeah, let's go up to the engineering office. Hey, can we have a small look at yeah, this? Yeah, of course. So, no. Regera, hybrid, direct drive. Maybe it's turned off now. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, I'm in the way. It's, it saw you? Yeah, it has a sensor here. <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't hit anything. Of course not. Yeah. Ich dachte gerade, es geht nicht auf wegen der Haube. Yeah, me too. I thought, I thought it's designed that way that it sees that the hood is open and the hood wasn't everywhere. No, that's the okay. The car saw you. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it has this uh, sensor. It, it's, uh, or, sorry, there, there's a, like a parking sensor there that scans before it opens. You know what I enjoy? I enjoy very much me being impressed. Oh, okay. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's it's uh, I like I like it very much. And don't there you have a four-seater test car mm -hmm. with the three-cylinder. Uh, that one has the V8. Actually. Okay. And that's a 22-inch carbon fiber wheel. Uh, front uh, 21, rear yeah, 22. Yeah. This is without an electric engines also. Uh, also electric engines. Yeah. Also, so the power is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> the highest we've ever made by a big margin. <laughs> one eight, maybe more. Uh, maybe quite a lot more. <laughs> So how much then? <laughs> yeah. Enough. Enough. Two? Enough. Enough. More. 
What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for your time, really. No, my pleasure. It's fun. To, you're, you're very knowledgeable, so it's fun to show you. <laughs> <laughs> you know everything about everything, even though not all about Koenigsegg, but all about technology. So no, no, now I know a lot about Koenigsegg. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, but thank you very much. Wow. <laughs> I'm sure you are a test track. Um, yeah, the Yesco became top gear hypercar of the year last year. Okay. So that, and then we had the Agera winning it ten years earlier. This is an active uh, airport here. Mm -hmm. And then in that direction you see a road going down there. That's yes. our test track. That's uh, We shut off an old mm -hmm. runway with some roads in and out. And that's where we'll drive later today. It's 1.6 kilometers long mm -hmm. and 50 meters wide. And then we're going to make a test track behind here as well. We're just cleaning this area up after we built that factory. Mm -hmm. Because corner is getting more and more interesting for you. Uh, it's always been interesting. No, I know, but I think the brand was very it's much known for something else. For power else. and acceleration and yeah. top speed, yeah. Of JP performance. <laughs> So here is simulation department. We have several supercomputers for simulating uh, uh, CFD, CAE, crash, uh, bending stiffness, uh, things like that. E motor, e flux, magnetics, all these things we simulate. Und wir denken uns, wie kriegen wir einen R6 Motor? Meine Güte, ich traue mich gar nicht, ich traue mich gar nicht zu erzählen, was wir machen. Here we have some pedal boxes. That's Right now, an issue on the project car that we are building, but I'm not, I'm not talking about it right here. <laughs> no. Yeah. Transmission software. So that's about it. Now we have this other facility. Oh, sorry. Cable harnesses. We have the e-motor production facility and uh, pre-assembly of the Esco chassis, which is okay. 10 minutes away from here. If you have time, you can go. It's a very cool place. Yeah. But first of all, I would really like to thank you yeah, thank very, you. very, very much for your time. My pleasure. It was, uh, I'm doing this now for, I'm doing cars for over 20 years. Right. And it was probably the most uh, extreme and nicest experience I had in a car factory so far. Oh, and thank you. <laughs> most impressive too. And I really have to say thank you. Well, appreciate it. Very, very, thank very, you for coming. Yeah, and very uh, happy to show you around. And yeah, thank you very glad much. Glad you liked it. <laughs> yeah, and I'm really, uh, I'm really looking forward. Maybe we see us again. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you will. Welcome back. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Then yeah. Also we. Uh wir essen jetzt was. Mhm. Äh, ich will mich auch bei euch bedanken. Wir haben daraus zwei Videos gemacht. Das heißt, wir werden jetzt gleich nochmal ein zweites Hallo machen. Ja. Wo wir dann einfach dann dran schneiden werden. Weil wie viele Minuten sind das? Boah, wir haben jetzt, ich glaube, Stunde 20 aufgenommen. Okay, also wir machen daraus zwei Videos. Also wir machen gleich noch ein Intro. Trotzdem möchte ich mich bei euch auch bedanken. Ähm, ihr wart dabei. Wirklich einer der beeindruckendsten Ingenieure, die wir so haben. Also es ist wirklich Was ein Wahnsinnsunternehmen äh, mit sehr, sehr viel Detail und äh, nichts geklaut. Also wirklich ganz, ganz viel Jetzt. Denken, 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 Denken. Jetzt habe ich eine Sache. Ja. Das war, wir beide waren ja auch bei Hegemann, wo es auch schon krass Kann war. man nicht vergleichen. Nein, schon wieder nicht. Gar nicht. Schon wieder nicht. Nein. Wir haben Hegemann schon gesagt. Hegemann, Hegemann ist schon wirklich, äh, wirklich toll. Ja. Aber das... das, das Nein, das ist äh, was anderes hier. Ja. Auch überhaupt nicht. Äh, nein, nicht böse gemeint. Nein, 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 gar nicht. Aber es ist halt einfach die Wahrheit. Es ist halt ja, 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 klar, das wissen die von Hegemann aber auch. Ja, ja, also, da bin ich mir ganz sicher. Ähm, so, ähm, ich bedanke mich und echt geil. Tschüss. Ja.